What do we do when we're not feeling good? What do we do when we're not feeling confident? Those are questions that we have to ask ourselves and examine. Many people have a bad habit of going out and buying things, the need for instant gratification, responding to somehow I had a bad day, something's going on in my life, I'm not feeling good about myself inside, and I fix that by buying something to make myself feel good. But most of us notice that when we do that, the pain's still there afterwards. Maybe it goes away for a day or even an hour or so, or 30 minutes or something like that, and then it comes back again. Because we're not actually dealing with the issues that we actually have. And one of the reasons that that occurs is because sometimes we just don't have the confidence in ourselves. We don't think we're worth actually working on ourselves to really make ourselves into better human beings, to fix those problems that we actually have. And we don't have the self-confidence to be able to do that really hard work. And you see, I also believe that our, the Jewish people in Egypt also lost self-confidence. You see, when they went down to Egypt, they had their great, great teachers. They had Jacob, they had Joseph, they had that whole generation of, of, of Joseph's brothers. And they were this great, great generation that came down from Eretz Israel. But once they passed away, the Jews were left, the Israelites were left with just themselves. And now that they didn't have those famous teachers, those great teachers in their lives, they, they found themselves quite empty. And instead they looked outwards towards the Egyptians. They looked, what can I gain from the outside, not what do I have in the inside that I can, that I can actually use for myself. And in that way, our, our scriptures, our commentary says that they actually became more and more enslaved. That, that the Egyptians actually thought of them worse because, well, the Jews thought of themselves worse. When the Jews first came to Egypt, when the Israelites first came to Egypt, they were identified with Joseph and Jacob, great learned people. The Egyptians actually looked up to them. But once the Jewish people started looking down on themselves, the Egyptians too started looking down on them. And it all and made the slavery all the worse. And that's the same thing that happens to us a lot of times when we don't have confidence in ourselves and what God gave us. God gave each of us a sacred task to build ourselves up, to make ourselves better people. Each of us has a unique task, a unique function in this world. And God has faith in us and each and every one of us, as long as we breathe and are on this earth, that we have the capabilities, that we have the ability to do what God wants of us in this world, that sacred task. You have a sacred task. Each and every one of you has a task that God wants you to be doing in this world. God wants you to be who you are. God does not want us to hide behind our purchases, behind instant fleeting gratification, but instead God wants us to dig into our souls, into the gifts that God gave us to build up the world. And the, 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 the argument within the commentaries, the argument within our rabbis, our holy teachers, that, is that slavery would have never gotten so bad if it wasn't for the fact that the Jews stopped believing in themselves. And for that reason, the sages gave us a really special prayer to say in the morning. We say, God, the, the sages gave us this really special prayer, this special intention to say in the morning, which means, I acknowledge that I'm standing before the Lord, that God is with me, that God returned me back to life again, and most importantly, Rabba Amunatech, on the last lines, great is your faithfulness, that God has faithfulness in us, faith in us, that we can do what God wants of us in this world, that we can accomplish our sacred tasks. And that's just so important, to understand that if God believes us, we can believe in ourselves. And if we're able to believe in ourselves, we can actually confront the problems we have, not hiding behind fleeting feelings of instant gratification, the purchases we make during the, ho the holiday season, but instead invest with gratitude in our own neshamas, in our own souls, to really think of ourselves, what does God actually want me doing in this world? What's really going to lead to holiness? What's really going to lead to transcendence? Those are the things that actually make us joyful over the long term, not the short-term purchases we make. Happy holidays, everybody.